Hey y'all, it's Lindsay. Today I'm gonna share with you some muffin recipes to have as an addition to your breakfast or as a sweet treat at the end of a meal. This muffin recipe is really versatile. It uses butter, allulose, eggs, some low carb milk, my homemade baking blend, baking powder, and keto chow. I'm also gonna add in blueberries and walnuts. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, then melt half a cup of butter, Mix in half a cup of allulose. Add in three room temperature eggs. Mix well. The last liquid ingredient is going to be half a cup of Fairlife milk and one half cup of water. Next up, we will be adding our dry ingredients. Here is my homemade baking blend, one and one half cups. I do have a video showing you this recipe on my channel. I'll be sure to link it up above in the cards and in the description box. This recipe uses keto chow for the flavoring, and I'm gonna use one serving of the blueberry pie keto chow. I also am going to use one half tablespoon of baking powder. Mix these things really well. If this is one of my first videos you are seeing, I'm glad you're here. I would love to have you consider subscribing to my channel, hanging around, and hitting that thumbs up button before you leave. This recipe makes approximately 12 muffins, so I'm going to line my muffin tin with some muffin liners. I'm using aluminum ones here. You can use the paper kind or the silicone ones. I find the silicone ones to be very tricky to release the muffins even after they have completely cooled, so I usually stick with these uh, foil versions or the paper liners. I'm going to use an ice cream scoop or a cookie scoop to evenly distribute my batter amongst all of my muffin liners. You could easily mix the blueberries throughout the entire batter if you would prefer. I wanted to keep my blueberries at a minimum while still having some of the flavor from a fresh blueberry. So I decided that I would just place my blueberries evenly on top of each individual muffin it does leave a little something to be desired, so in the future I won't do that. Make your decision for yourself. These are going to bake in the 350 degree oven for 17 to 20, 22 minutes. Just kind of keep an eye on them. They are not gonna turn very golden brown on top, but they will be cooked through. You don't wanna overbake these as they will turn very dry. In my description box, I have a link to Keto Chow. It is an affiliate link, and when you use that, it does support my channel, and I appreciate it very much. Now we can make our banana nut muffins. This starts the exact same way. Half a cup of melted butter, half a cup of allulose. Mix those together well. Three room temperature eggs added to the creamed butter and allulose. And then half a cup of Fairlife milk and half a cup water. I like to have those things at room temperature as well. Feel free to swap out the Fairlife milk with heavy cream if you would prefer. I just find the total carbs on the Fairlife milk to be lower than heavy cream. Again, one and one half cups of that homemade baking blend. Mm -hmm. 
one serving of banana flavored keto chow. Half a tablespoon of baking powder. And then we mix all this together. And finally add in one half cup of chopped walnuts. Mix those well to evenly distribute those amongst the batter. Again, this recipe makes 12 muffins and this time I'm using the paper liners for my muffin tin. Evenly distribute your batter between all 12 liners. And again, this is going to bake between 17 and 20, 23 minutes. You want them to be cooked all the way through, but not dried out. One thing you could definitely do to elevate this recipe is toast the walnuts before you mix them into your batter to really bring out the flavor of those walnuts. And here we have the baked product. They are lightly golden. You wanna be very careful that you do not burn the tops of these muffins. This is one of the fun ways that I can use keto chow in other things and not just use it as a meal replacement shake. I really like being able to incorporate it in a variety of ways. It's a really versatile product. I do not have any substitutions for the keto chow, so feel free to go through and substitute the keto chow with other protein powders that are flavored the way that you like. That is what I chose to use for this recipe. Let's go ahead and try some of these. Here is my blueberry muffin. It is a little unsatisfying to not have blueberries in the middle, so if you would rather mix them into the, the actual batter, definitely go and do that. But I was just trying to get an even disbursement of my blueberries. Mm. Tastes like blueberry muffin to me. These are really good when you warm them up and then put a little pat of butter on them. It's really good. All right, time for banana nut. These were not quite as dry on the batter. Those are good. I like the walnut crunch in the middle. They could use a little more banana flavor. I think Olive Nation has a banana emulsion that would work out really, really well in this. But other than that, that's delightful. Mm. Again, warm with a little bit of butter. That's where it's at. I almost think I like the banana nut flavor better than the blueberry flavor. Mm. This muffin recipe is pretty versatile. Swap it out, like I said, for whatever your favorite flavor of protein, powder, or keto chow would be. And I hope you enjoy. I will see you in my next video.